feet towards. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, would, if I walk over here, we would call it a face up, feet away. And if we have legs look over here, this would be called face down, feet away. And if I walk over here, we would call it a face down, feet towards. So there's four, there's four different positions that uh, you would get knocked down from. And either one, any of these, could happen from any type of grab or any type of uh, air combo or anything like that. Whatever position they leave you afterwards. Okay, so uh, from these different positions though, uh, let's talk a little bit about how you can attack from these positions. Alright, so um, if uh, Al would get into the normal face of the towards. Alright, so they... F U F T. <laughs> Got it. F U F T. Alright, so basically, um, there's two type of moves you can do from any of these positions. Um, this one right here, as you can see, is a little bit unique because you, you have a, another option as a spring kick and dive ch uh, chop as well. But we'll first demonstrate the low kick and the mid kick first. The low kick is done by doing three, as you can see there. And the mid kick is done by doing four, as you can see there. Um, the low kick will do a combo on counter hit, and you'll see me supercharging here, which gives the same effects as a counter hit, which on counter hit, it trips them and gives a full combo. Uh, the mid kick will also knock down as well, but no combo afterwards. Alright, and the other other options, as I said, the spring kick is done by doing back in 3 plus 4. And the spring kick there, and there's also a mid uh, cross chop that you can do by pressing back one plus two. And the last option from this position is uh, a little toe kick, which is which is done by doing down three or down four, which isn't the safest thing to do, and it's also really risky, but it's also uh, the fastest move you can do from that position. And depending on the position he is like face up, feet away, the, the get up kicks will also do a different uh, type of uh, hit on hit. As you can see, the mid uh, from face up, feet away uh, will knock down unlike the other one. Uh, but if any of the face down positions, those, no uh, those knock down kicks will actually trip. That's the low right there. And the mid will knock down as well. Uh, basically, those face down positions are usually a little riskier. If you'll do a low, I can also launch it. It's a little riskier than the regular one. These are usually a little bit safer, but they also don't give a combo on regular hit. But the reward for trying the one when you're face down, feet towards, is greater than the one when you're face up, feet towards. If you got the low hit in. Yeah. Because you'd get the trip and you'd get a chuckle out of exactly. it. Exactly. So there's a little risk reward scenario there. Alright, so I think that's about it for the getup system, and uh, next we'll talk about the combo system in the game. Alright, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the combo system in the game. And so first of all, the simplest type of combo in the game is called a natural combo. And a natural combo is basically when the follow-up hits are guaranteed after the first hit hits. So we see Bruce demonstrate here, once the first hit hits, the follow-up hits are all guaranteed to hit. All right. And did you want to talk about the new option practice mode? All right. There's a new option in practice mode. If, uh, as you can see here, we have training dummy one set to stand, and we're moving it over to stand to guard. If you put it to stand to guard, you would notice that uh, Bruce's back one two is a natural combo. But if you if we do a back one two one, the last hit will get blocked. All right. So, and the only case where this would be a natural combo is on counter hit, and this is the next thing we're going to talk about is a natural combo on counter hit, which we uh, abbreviated to uh, NCC. Right. So, natural counter combos are where the entire string is guaranteed only when the first hit is a counter hit, and a counter hit is basically when your move is faster than your opponent's move. So now we have Bruce out on counter hit. So we're going to see his one two one hit back one two one, back one, two, one hit off on counter hit. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the juggle system of the game. I'm going to have Alice send me the controller here. All right, so basically um, every hit you do in a combo is going to send your opponent farther and farther away. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, Steve's uh, in notation form, up forward 2, down forward 1, 2, 1, forward forward 2, forward 2, 1, back, flicker 1, albatross 2. It's a little hard to follow. <laughs> It's Steve, it's a little hard to follow, but uh, here you go. So basically, he's gonna do a juggle. Yeah, as you can see, all the hits in this combo will connect. As you 
as you can see, all the hits in that combo connected. Uh, but if I add an extra flicker jab after I go into one to one flicker, uh, that the, flicker is the stance that Steve just did right there. Uh -huh. This is Steve's flicker stance. That's Steve specific. We'll get into that later. But uh, if I add an extra flicker jab, it's going to send the opponent too far away for that last flicker jab before the Owl Charles 2 to hit, as you can see here. As you can see, the last flicker jab didn't hit because the opponent was too far away because there was too many previous hits. So basically, the more hits you do while the opponent is in the air, the further away they're going to be pushed with each hit. Yes. Yep. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is juggle resets. And for juggle resets, it's basically when the opponent misses an opportunity to tech roll and your attack picks them up off the ground again to continue your juggle. And it so, also resets the juggle counter, so it doesn't send them as far away as it would as for a long combo. It'll be like back to the beginning of the combo. So for this, let's have Al demonstrate something with Bruce. Now right there was a reset. So if we see it again, right here's the reset, but Al was a little bit late on doing it. Reset. And, and also, so you can notice that uh, the scaling goes back to what it was previously. Yeah, you also notice that in combos, there will be combo scaling. And it would be, as you can see in the formula, it will start from 100, then 60, and so on and so on. It will keep getting reduced. So the longer your combo, the more scaled every hit's going to get. So if you can get up and just, let's do it again. And let's just show that Steve can actually tech roll out of it. Oh, the juggle reset. Right. So here's the tech roll. As and you can see, if I tech roll, I avoid the reset. Also, back rolling will actually pick you up again. Let's try back rolling. So here, Steve's going to hold back when he gets hit on the floor. Right here. And he still got picked up again, and the juggle resets. So the only way that Steve can get out of that is by tech rolling in that situation. And usually juggle resets wouldn't be that useful unless there's a tech trap, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Okay, and so as far as damage scaling goes, there's a specific formula. There's a specific formula. Uh, the first hit of a, of a combo will do 120%, and then the following hit will be reduced to 60%, and then uh, I believe it's 50, 50, 45, 45, and so on, and so on, and so on. So the longer your combo, the more reduced uh, it's going to get due to scaling. So in most situations, if you're making up a juggle for a character, you want to start off the juggle with kind of a damaging attack that you can still connect more moves after it. Exactly. And those moves we would call fillers, while the first move we'll call a launcher. Now we're going to move into the bound system. Now, I call it bound, but some people call it bind. Online notation, you're going to see a B with an exclamation mark. Usually a capital B. Capital B. All right. So the bind system is basically a way to extend your juggle. Now. Most characters have at least one or two bind moves, bound moves. I'm getting myself confused. I'm going to call them bind moves, I think. Um, but basically, each character has a couple of different moves that they can use depending on the situation or the juggle that they're using. So if you guys want to demonstrate something. Here's you back with the launcher. And there's a bound move. That's a bind right there. That's and so basically, when the character is bound, Beck can use additional moves to extend that juggle further. And when he does those additional moves, the damage scaling that we talked about a second ago continues on. Let's not forget about the juggle counter as well. So can't do infinite combos. Right. So the more hits that he does in the combo before the bind, the less hits he can do after the bind. So that's a pretty late bind, and he only gets about three hits after it. So now let's demonstrate an early bind. And we see that he gets about five hits after the bound combo. So depending on the situation used, he you know he had two different moves that he demonstrated there that bound in different ways, and then we saw that he had different amounts of hits after the bind itself. All right, so we just talked about the jungle system and the bound system. Now we're gonna talk about the wall system in the game. And the wall system in the game is kind of complicated to explain because there's a lot of variables that come into play here. Well, we're going to attempt to do this and hopefully everything will kind of work out. So with that said, let's go ahead and have MYK take over. All right, so I'm going to explain to you what uh, the two different wall, uh, you know, wall positions there are, basically. So basically here, I'm going to show you a knockdown move, large is 443. 